Welcome back. We are here with 4th of April's Kauri Pressing. It's a very special wisdom in letting others go ahead of you. So you first. For an example, you are in an auditorium or you are in a function and there's just one seat in the front and two people are standing with you and somebody else and both of you look at each other and you're like, oh, please, please go ahead. You sit first. And the other person says, no, no, please, you go ahead. You sit first over here. And that is the complete secret. It's not just about the chair, it's about everything in life. When you let others go ahead, actually, you become Bandhan Muk. That means you don't get tied into that karma. And most of the times, it's a sign from God that when somebody else wants to take the lead, let them take it because there's something better for you. And that's the secret. When you let others move ahead, when you let others go ahead, when you don't become a hurdle in somebody else's life, somebody wants to attain a post or position in their life and you are like, no, no, I want to be there. And that's where you'll find the struggle. You'll find that there's going to be a lot of struggle. And God says that is where you have to step back. And that's the best method because there's something better in store for you. I have some other plan for you. Let the other person take that seat. Let the other person take that position. Let the other person get that benefit. Let it happen. You first. Sure. I'm here to guide you, help you. I'm here to cooperate with you. And that's the power of cooperation. You first. You move ahead first. You take the stage first. You take the position first. And there's a lot of benefit in that. We're going to explore this in the same way through godly words here. So God says, May you be a successful image who is loved by everyone with your special virtue of you first. Loved by everyone, including God. The virtue of making one another go ahead. Helping somebody else to go ahead. That is of you first makes you loved by everyone on the spiritual path on the spiritual path actually you feel loved by everyone even on the non-spiritual path that means on a physical worldly path if you let others go ahead take promotion it needs a very big heart to do so i understand that it needs a very very big heart to do so so letting others move ahead so we are here to earn blessings or we are here to earn a post and position and money choices are us but it's a choice which one needs to make because there's something better than better in store for you somewhere else. So God says, the virtue of making one another go ahead, that is of first you, makes you loved by everyone on the spiritual path and in your interactions with everyone. This is the father's main virtue. The father says, children, you first. You become first. You go ahead first. Brahma Baba did the same thing letting other children go ahead first. It doesn't mean that you come out of karma and you sit back, relax. No, it doesn't mean that. You are doing your karmas, you're doing something else. But you're letting others take on the main aim, main acting and letting others go ahead and improve their life. And that's what it means. You first, you take the opportunity first, you take the goal first, your idea first. Go ahead, experience it. And that's where the wisdom comes in. So follow the father in this virtue, God says. This is the way to achieve success in everything. Those who are loved by the father and the Brahmin family and who love serving the world are ever ready. So in order to be ever ready, one needs to have blessings from everybody. Ever ready means that I'm now, if suppose today I'm supposed to leave my body, have I attained blessings from everybody? In the Brahmin family, in my Lokic family, in the world, through people, through neighbors, or am I somebody who's accumulating curses, who's accumulating bad wishes from others? Or am I somebody who's helping other people out, cooperating with others, helping them to move ahead in life? What am I doing? So if I'm accumulating opposite of blessings, then am I ready to leave the body? No, it's going to be difficult and we'll have to come back again and take another birth to undo the things which you have done or have done in this life. So which is better? You first or I first? Think about it, ponder over it and think about in the past all those things which you've done in which you wanted to take it and think about the struggle which was there, think about the clashes which was there and what if you had said, okay, you first, you go ahead. How would that have been? Think about it and do leave your comments. I'm sharing with you this.